doing unicycling tricks blind. That's right, blind. When I was younger and I just got into unicycling, I thought it was absolutely crazy how people were just going out and hitting rails blind and doing tricks off of ledges blind. It just blew my mind. Hey everybody, I'm Jack7. I'm a professional extreme unicyclist who's been riding for over 12 years now. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the most misunderstood and possibly most debated term in unicycling. So if you're new to unicycling or maybe you know nothing about unicycling, this video should be a pretty big eye opener for you. And especially if you don't know the technicals of unicycling or don't know what you're looking for, this thing can definitely kind of go under the radar for most. So. What does blind mean in unicycling? Let me get rid of the first possible misconception you might have that I personally had when I started out unicycling. That misconception is that blind means you're doing tricks blindfolded. Blind has nothing to do with your ability to see at all. But blind has all to do with the spinning direction or the side that you prefer to do tricks on. And this is where the term blind really comes into debate for a lot of people and the definition of it gets kind of clunky. As far back as 2006 in the Unicyclist Forum, there is possibly the first definition or the first typed out definition of what the term blind really means. And this comment by Luke Colalto in that forum goes as doing a trick in your non-regular direction or side. If you normally unispin clockwise, a blind unispin would be anti-clockwise. And shout out to Emil Matthew for digging up that forum post. It saved me a lot of time and a lot of digging and I really appreciate that man. And if you guys wanna check out Emil's channel, he's a unicyclist who's really damn good. He does mostly performance unicycling these days, but he has been around forever and he is a really awesome rider. I'll throw a link in the description to his channel channel now. So in other words, blind originally meant spinning in the direction you least preferred compared to how you naturally just learned how to spin. This idea is actually kind of similar to the term oppo in BMX, which basically just means doing tricks in the way that is opposite of how you normally would yeah. do them. So in BMX, if you normally did bar spins spinning to your right, then spinning your bar spins to your left would be your oppo bar spin. But unicycling isn't exactly BMX though. Tricks in unicycling often rely heavily on the rider's stance and the spinning direction in which they choose to do certain tricks. And the difficulty and technique can change very noticeably in certain tricks, depending on the way you decide to spin it. And this is where the water gets a little muddy. And as unicycling evolved and tricks became more technical, and riders just became overall more versatile, the definitions that worked before were now coming further into debate. The definition is still debated today, but one of the more modern definitions of unicycling that I personally have adopted is that blind tricks are defined as spinning into or towards a rider's back foot. My natural stance while hopping is going to be right foot forward with my left foot back for me personally, which means if I spin into my back foot, my left side, that is considered a blind trick. So the older definition and the modern definition of blind come into conflict now is because as riders became more versatile and learned how to spin in both directions, the term blind started to become more meaningless. There is no exactly blind spin if I'm really comfortable spinning both ways and I kind of mix and match them. If somebody asked me what my blind spin is, I'd say I don't know because certain tricks just feel better certain ways. <laughs> and this is the same kind of scenario for many other riders out there. So these days, blind becomes less of a preference and more about which direction certain tricks are spun. I also think there's very good evidence to suggest that certain tricks just become a lot easier or a lot harder depending on which way they are spun. Some good examples are the big flip trick categories. So hick triples, tray triples, tray side triples, fifth triples, Anything that's a big flip trick is generally going to be harder when done blind. Even the guys who naturally learn how to spin towards their back foot and consider the front foot being their opposite direction will normally spin into their front foot even for these big flip tricks. Spinning regular or into the front foot for these specific tricks is just a lot easier to do as compared to spinning away from the front foot. And this is why we haven't seen anybody do tricks like 
blind hit quad or a blind tray quad. When you spin blind, you're spinning away from the front foot, which means you get less drag and you almost have to snap your foot in with the unicycle in order to get enough drag on the pedals to flip it really hard like that. Because when you spin blind, you get a lot less drag and it's gonna be harder to get that flip if you're spinning away from your front foot as opposed to spinning into your front foot where you get just enough drag where you're able to get the big flip motion and kicking your leg down and out as you normally would is just a lot more natural to do. And this is why we have seen some of the biggest technical flip tricks done spinning into the front foot. And another place where technique and difficulty changes noticeably is when you start doing bigger spins. Riders who have learned how to spin both ways like Eli Brill and myself will attest to this and that is blind spins usually snap a lot harder than regular spins but when you snap a blind spin you get a lot less control and you get a lot less stability in the landing. You're able to max out your power on a spin but you get less stability and control as a trade-off. And this might explain why the biggest spin in unicycling to this day, the 1260 uni spin, have all been landed blind as opposed to regular. And another trick that's going to surprise you that's a lot harder when done blind is smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out and it also shows your support for the channel and the efforts that I put in to make these videos, so I appreciate that. Thank you. And there are many other examples where blind versus regular spins are a lot different in technique and difficulty, but these two examples that I just gave are probably the most noticeable and the most obvious ones. Just like how skateboarding has its own stances like fakie and nolly, and there's front side and back side, maybe unicycling should have its own stances too. I think spin directions and technical tricks in unicycling are really evolving, and I think the definitions should evolve too, maybe. And even despite all this, there's no verdict on if blind is 100% fully conclusive, harder, or easier than a regular version of a trick. Because there will be anomalies, there'll definitely be people who are just overdeveloped and naturally good at spinning a trick in blind or spinning a trick in regular. Like, hey, maybe there are some guys that prefer blind tray triple over regular triple. But I think they would be in the minority, and I think most unicyclists would agree with this. So, should blind be considered your least preferred spinning direction, or should blind mean spinning into your back foot? So whether you're a beginner or new to unicycling, or maybe you're even a non-unicyclist, I want to hear your opinions down below on what you think of this debate. So let's start a healthy discussion in the comment section below. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in next week's video. Peace.